if you want to change the sound effect particle or add any kind of other new things to your boop counter, what you can do is find the boop counter uh, object that you added to your avatar. For me, it's going to be under the headphone because I use the preset. And you can swap out uh, these objects here. So I want to change, so let's say I want to change the squeak sound, which is this, into this. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the SFX and drag the car horn into the audio clip here. And that's it. We now have our, we now have a different boop sound. If we want to change the particle, uh, we could simply delete the star particle right here and drag in one from the particle presets here or make your own or customize the existing one. Let's say I want the hypno spiral here. So let's drag it in into the on boop and make sure it's positioned properly, which it is just right off the bat, which is good. And we can play to make sure that it's all properly positioned and such. And if you want to edit this, I recommend unpacking the prefab and then editing uh, the particles as you want them to be edited. Now, you can also adjust the animator as, as well. If you end up adjusting the effects layers or any of these uh, menus or parameters here on the uh, VRC Fury component, I recommend making a duplicate of all these, dragging the duplicates in and then adjusting those. This is in case you decide to update your package in the future, and in that situation, you might end up overriding your changes with the uh, ones in the package. So to avoid that, please select your things, these things here, Control-D to duplicate them into new things, and then drag them in like this. And you can edit the effects control to whatever you like. You can also add a gestures. So for example, I on my normal avatar, I have a thing where I have a, let's just make a new, just just, a, just as an example. We have a new gesture controller here, which I have added to your C Fury as a gesture. And now what this gesture controller can do is it, for example, can make it so that when we get booped, the ears of our avatar shoot up. So what you can do is you can use this OSC boop component here, which is a boolean, which we set here. While we're, while we're idle, it's going to be set to false. And when we've been booped, it's going to be set to true. So we can use that as a boolean in our gesture here. And we can then use that as a condition to drive animations. So we can, for example, be completely idling on something here and then transition into something else based off of when the OC boop is true and the, when oh, the OC boop is false. All right, so we can use that to drive other things that we want to happen to our avatar, like making the ear stand up, for example, when we've been booped. 